Now, over the period, there's been an upsurge in crime in the central region. Just two days ago, a chief was shot at Goma Fete. Proud to that, two policemen were also killed in cold blood here at Gomwa Budumbura in the central region. In today's edition of the City Newsroom, we're looking at why there's an upsurge of crime in the central region, what all the stakeholders involved are doing to deal with the matter, and why we're seeing this rise in crime here in the central region. I'm going to start the story by joining residents of the Budumbura camp where some reports of harboring of criminals are being reported. Are these reports really the case? Join me as we find out. And later, we'll be speaking also with my colleague who has joined some chiefs of the area and the police to look at the situation here. And later, our central regional correspondent will also bring us the latest on the Goma Feta chief shooting. Let's now join residents at Budumburam camp. So I'm um, going into the um, camp proper and um, bring you an idea of how they live, their living conditions and all that. So um, some of them have agreed to speak to us and take us to exactly where they live. So we're going to see how things are there. Yes. Okay, let's go there. So these are houses. Yeah, these are houses. People live here. So the, the, this is a compound sort of. Um, around here are houses. If you, uh, my camera can take that. This is where somebody lives. On right on my left side. Um, right behind me is also somebody's house, and also. Over here is somebody's house. So gives you an idea of the conditions here at the um, Budumburam camp. But how long have you guys um, lived here? Uh, actually, I've been living here over the past nine years. Uh -huh. uh, so you came f originally from where? From Liberia. I'm a Liberian. Okay. And you? Me, I've been here since 89. You're also from Liberia? Yes, okay. from Liberia. Okay. So how are conditions here? We've seen um, the conditions here. They don't look um, good to us. But you live here. What are the conditions like over here? Um, there are a lot of things over here that are not proper. And there are a lot of things over here that people face that are not normal in other communities, especially for this area. Because the camp is a big place, they have some other places. But for this area, the people face like um, police harassment, and then people face like you see the shelter here, and there are so many things. Why like, are you facing police harassment? What are you doing wrongly that the police are harassing you? Oh, it's not about the police is doing a job. We 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 welcome the police in any time because mostly when you hear something happens in this region, people conclude to be the camp. Sometimes things doesn't even happen. On where is it happening? Not in the camp where? Yeah, but like the quite recent, the, the most recent dangerous one we know about was a guy who shot a policeman. Uh, it didn't happen in this camp. It happened a um, miles away from here. Yeah, the like, people, those who shot them, they are not from this camp? They're not from the camp. They don't live on the camp either. So, but when things like this happen, the police rush in here yeah, because yeah. as you can see the shelters here are like ghetto mm -hmm. it, they are not like a place of people to stay mm -hmm. so the police see it as where the criminal hide themselves which is the criminals the hide are there some who come and hide it because we are told i've spoken to some of your other um, friends and colleagues they say there are some criminals who come here you all know them and all that you know they are here don't some of them come here before some some of them used to be here, but the police the police have arrested most of the criminal. But mostly we the Liberian, if we are facing the problem, yes, if anything happens, then they say Liberia camp, Liberia camp, and which of course we the Liberian we are refugees. If it come to robbery matter, where where are we going to take gun from? We the Liberian, we don't get gun. But anytime something happens in the toxic Liberia camp, Liberia camp, and most of the criminals who knew that were on this camp, the police have 
arrested them. Some of them, right now, as I speak right now, they did anchor for some day in Sawan prison. They're Liberian. No, they are not a Liberian. Um, pay addition, let me just add to what my brother is saying. Like you just asked a question, do we know a, who they are? Who criminals are? Uh, we can say we know a criminal. But we, we, we know anybody can be a criminal, but you can't judge a criminal from their parents. So people may look decent, but they are a criminal. So we, the police are the only one who identify the criminal. So we support the police coming in Have here. Have you seen the police come in and arrest some people? Yes, yes. and we support so They are here then? Yeah, yeah. Yes. We support so the police times. coming in here and so we support times. them coming Those in. Those people that were picked up, up, were they Liberians, Ghanaians or Nigerians? Oh, Ghanaian, Ghanaian oh, and Nigerian. From here, I, know about, I, I don't know about the Liberian that have been picked up from here in any criminal case. So they were all Ghanaians and Nigerians? Nigerian, yes. They live here? They used to live here. But now they are no longer here again. So because are you I, saying that as we speak now, there are no criminals here? We can no, tell. I can't tell. We can but tell. for now, except the police arrest somebody. When was the last time the police arrested somebody here? Oh, a criminal here. Um, a, a serious criminal. No, not not in quite recent time. The police has has not arrested a semi a serious criminal in quite recent time yet. Yeah. So you what one do you live here as well? Are you a librarian as well? If you can come close and look to the camera. Are you also a librarian? Oh yeah. Mm. I'm a librarian also. Okay. Yeah. So the, the the current issues to do with security, you also agree that the the criminals are not librarians but they are other nationalities? Oh really, but let's start from this way, you know. As before, let's go back in some years back. The camp will learn it wasn't like where it is now. Mm. Formerly at the entrance there, if you are not if you are not non Liberians, you will enter the scam. But since then, now, first of all, our first of all, being authority, they have been so reluctant on the on the on this issue, where at the end of the day, librarian name will always go before. Because we we developed the, the, this Goma Bunibulam. We came in a certain village, very small village, but the camp expanded the area. But from the usual stage, when you come on the camp. As a non Liberian, they will stop you. They even deny you not to enter the camp. So, what, what changed? It has changed in the sense of uh, you see different, different nationalities on the camp. Mm. If you go into a census, door to door, you discover that Liberians are few now. In numbers, you see the Ghanaian percentage, they are more than Liberians. And who gave them these places to live with? You're the Liberians, right? No, 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 no. So I would the, say those houses belong to the Liberians. Yeah. Yeah. So who gave it to the Ghanaians and the Nigerians? Sometimes they use Some violence. Are being yeah. Some and then are being so and they, they, they you left there. The, yes. They and then some people like they can use violence and take the house. If they come, they see the house yeah. empty. They will bust the door and enter Isa. And live there. So some of them, yeah. when you were being repatriated, you gave it to some Ghanaians no, no, or no, 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 no. They themselves enter inside the house, and if you come and ask them, they can give you good, good reason. And no, no. we the librarian too, no one problem. If so, we leave them just like that. So, um, Mister, you have been here forever, at least um, 25 years, I presume. Yes. I I live here for the past 16 years, mm -hmm. to be exact. Yeah. And uh, for the security the problem within this camp. There are a lot of allegations against the Liberians. Mm. But first of all, the mistakes came from some Liberians. Mm -hmm. When they were going back home, mm -hmm. UN supposed to have compensated them with a certain amount. That amount was not given. And because of that, the people wanted to buy little things to go with. So the, the structures that they themselves built, they decided to sell it. They decided to sell their structure, which is the refugee camp houses. Yeah. And that what happened. And from there now, there was an announcement from the camp management that any librarian who is going back, they should not sell their houses. They should turn their keys over to the camp management. And the camp management went on the wrong page, giving people houses in the camp. This, they gave the houses to who? They gave the houses to Nigerians. They gave the houses to Ghanaians. They did it. For two as I will see before us here, there's a place that the yeah, air was given to the, the local government, which is the camp management, but it had been abandoned. Anyone can just come in and just... So rent. nobody lives here now? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It is an empty room. It's an empty room. And usually, 
we, are, we at the elders here, we have been telling the management of this camp that we are within. So we know what is actually going on. And they're also in support because, as my elders said, when giving my keys to them, the next thing is to find someone who is looking for accommodation. Being a certain area being demolished from Accra, they all pop in at La Camp. Yeah, you come and get a free house for a cheap house for 20 cities, 15 cities, 25 cities. For a day, a day or a, a night. For a month, you so for a month, people are giving it out for 20, 15 cities for rent. Wow. Okay. So some even going for six months, okay. one year. Because, because they are desperate because what, they want to go back home. What you is giving them is not sufficient. Some have spent 29 years from 1990. Some have spent 20 years, 15 years, 10 years. So nothing happened. So what, what's given to them is... But this, um, renting out your place for 20 years a month, I mean 20 cities a month, is that enough to even add to the amount of money you have? Ah, but they say it again. Say it again. It's better, one, one is better than zero. So he or she prefer that I'll get 200 Ghana cities in my pocket. That they can buy a few things and go home, and the house will be given to the authority. At the end of the day, the senior authority will go and find someone, either the citizen of this nation, Ghana, or a Nigerian, and rent the place to them. So we are appealing to the government of Ghana to come in. They brought a repatriation uh, forms, registration, many librarians went and registered. There are a lot of librarians who want to go home now. Some came since 1990, 29 years now, 20 years. You see, some to local integration, the money given to them couldn't do anything. Couldn't even find a place for them even across the road. They're saying that the money I'll be given to you, you should go and find somewhere across the road. Where can I go and pay rent for 50 Ghana cities per two years? 884 Ghana cities. If you subtract that amount, two years from that amount, how much left? You see. So this is um, Bodumboram camp where most of the criminals are alleged to be here. I'm just speaking to some librarians here who are refuting allegations that they're part of the criminal um, gangs or whatever they are. They believe others are the ones involved. They agree the police must do their constant raids but um, shy, move away from the extortion and all that.